Toronto Motorcycle uh, Show. We're looking to find out what's the coolest, what's the hottest thing on two wheels, and also kind of, I guess, relate to car guys. Yeah, so this is the Victory Impulse TT. You can really jump from a standard bike to an electric bike and feel right at home here, especially if you're used to something with a lot of speed. It's definitely all about fun and about uh, being a rider's bike and it's, uh, it allows you to customize, again, the suspension. You can make it as firm or supple as you need it to be. This actually has a six-speed manual a sequential transmission, so it feels more like a regular motorcycle in that sense. It feels kind of like uh, if you had a Lotus track car and then electrified it. This is an incredibly large microphone. Uh <laughs> Well, you know, if you're gonna keep anything dead, keep a squirrel around. Riding indoors has a lot of unique challenges, and it takes a long time to get used to riding in an indoor surface, and this, start, this is starting to feel like home. So these last couple shows that Ernie and I have done, I felt 100% comfortable the entire time, and it's a great crowd, it's active people, and the fact that these are your motorcycle fans in the winter, seeing motorcycles being ridden has an energy to it that you don't really get anywhere else. We all know your videos, and we've seen them, and it's the Drift Apart. I'm sorry, I'm Eastern European, it's going to take me like two seconds to pronounce, it's a Drift Apocalypse. And uh, yeah, thank you. And the uh, city uh, streets of the playground, you said? Yeah. So I just found out that you guys also make your own videos. I don't know, I think we're firm believers that no one's going to care for our program more than us. So it's, it's nice to be the guys that actually bring the projects to life like we want to see them. Just because, you know, they're, at the end of the day, it's, it's a vision that we have and, and you never know what you're going to get if you go with somebody else. So it's nice that we're behind it and we kind of have the control of, of giving people what we feel like they want to see. Yeah. I also know that Nick is a car guy. So this is the show for car guys. <laughs> and this is like, what if a car guy gets bike curious? Bike. Yeah, that's what we call it. So what, is, what do you do as a car guy who got bike curious? I think Nick can answer that question for us. So I was a car guy that fell in love with motorcycles. I cheat on my cars all the time or I cheat on my bikes. I don't know which one I'm doing. It's a yeah. Menage. Yeah. This is the most dynamic motorsport in the world, I believe, personally. It, it's not the greatest or the most difficult, but it's the most dynamic. There's more disciplines within sport bike freestyle than what cars can offer. And it's similar to FMX, but we are always, always doing something. There's never, our transitions are a trick now. Thank you so much, guys. It was a pleasure. Thank you. So, Nikita, I found the bike for you. This is the Ducati Monster 1200S. Uh, I didn't give you the 1200R because that's just a little too crazy. The R is just back there. It's 160 horsepower. This is 145 horsepower. It's still no slouch. So is it the small monster? Well, no, the small monster is in the middle. Back to the, back to the matter at hand. As I said, this is 145 horsepower, but it's only 200 kilos. So this is insane. I picked Alfa Romeo at the uh, auto show. Mm -hmm. so that would be my another Italian pick. Exactly. So I'm here with Ben Young, a rider for Canadian Superbike Series. Hi Ben, it's nice to see you at the show. Yeah, I've been coming to the show for a few years now. Uh, it's, it's good to see some familiar faces as we go a few months without seeing uh, good friends and stuff like that. So it's good to come out. We've done a few Canadian Superbike races in the past. Um, first, uh, first time doing the full series, so uh, looking forward to it. Yeah, the best way to introduce someone to the bikes from cars is uh, you know just get just get a cheap bike, a cheap cheap track bike, or even just rent a bike for the week. Do a track day, and like it's, it's instant love right there. You know. So you gotta try it to fall in love with it. Oh yeah, as uh, you know, bikes is uh, it's not just a passion, it's like a full-time love, so. Well, thank you so much, Ben. Pleasure seeing you. Yeah.